This is the answer walkthrough video for um, the video column method multiplying level two. If you're new to Math From Scratch, this is the answer walkthrough video to um, an accompanying lesson video where we, um, we are, where we are teaching the column method multiplying or the method for column method multiplying from scratch. And this is the answer walkthrough to level two. So if you know what you're doing and you're happy to see the answers, here are the quick answers for level two. So question one is 88. The answer to question two is 2,769. The answer to question three is 144. Answer to question four is 18,903. The answer to question five is 1,296,303. And the answer for question number six is 186,048,602. So if you're happy with those and you've got all those right, well done. You can go ahead and watch level three. And if you've made a mistake, keep watching and we're just gonna go through quickly how to answer all of those six so you can see if you've made a mistake. Okay, right, so let's go through each of these questions in turn then. So what you need to remember from level from level two, from the lesson video, is the pattern that we drew when we were working these out, because this is what you need to follow with your mind's eye. So we start with we start with the four and we multiply upwards and then we multiply across. And this pattern, we do that for every single one. So four times two, so we're multiplying upwards, that becomes eight, and then we move on to the second step, so four times two, so that gives me eight, so that gives me the answer of 88. Question number two quickly, so now the only difference is that we've now got three digits on top, because it's a number in the hundreds, so we're gonna start with the three, so we multiply upwards, then we multiply to the tens, and then we multiply across to the hundreds, so we fan out if you like. So three times three is nine, three times two is six, and then three times nine, well that gives us an answer of 27, and because we've finished our calculation, we can then span across two columns there. So now we've got 2,769. That's question two sorted. Question three, again, similar to question number one, we're gonna fan upwards. So two times two is four, and then two times seven, well, that's 14. And because it's a 14 is a two digit number, we can span across. So 144 there. For uh, question number four, we've now got four digits on top because it's a number in the thousands. So we're gonna fan across four times. So three times one, is three, three times nothing, well remember that's nothing, three times three is nine, and then three times six, that gives us 18, and so that can then span across the two columns there. Question five, now more fanning across to do, but it's exactly the same, you just repeat it for however many digits there are in there on the top number. So three times one, so we're gonna go across, and we're just gonna keep going all the way across. So three times one is three, Three times nothing is nothing. Three times one again is three. Take great care to line up your columns there. Three times two is going to be six. Three times three is nine. And then three times four gives me an answer of 12 and I can span across. And now for the biggie, number six. So lots of finding across to do, but it's just the same method. So this shouldn't put you off at all. So two times one is two. Two times zero is nothing. Two times three is six. With questions like this, you've really got to um, line up your columns. Otherwise, it's just going to become so messy, you're going to lose track of where you are. Two times four becomes eight. Two times two is four. Two times nothing is nothing. Two times three is six. And then two times nine gives me 18. And so you can see we've actually finished that whopper of a question there. So if you ever did want to know what that number is doubled, now you can work it out using the column method for multiplying. That's the answer walkthrough completed for level two. Um, well done. Go ahead and start watching level three and I'll see you there.